I am spectating Raithen. <laughs> this game. If you guys know anything about f***ing Raithen. He's a real life friend. He was at my wedding. He's been really busy and doesn't stream or anything anymore. I don't know how much Smite he really plays, but we've done a couple of videos on him. I remember Gucci, he was terrible. So I compared Raithen to Gucci. Video popped off. That's 230,000 views. I'm not really doing this as an actual just roast. He asked me to spectate him. I have not watched him play Smite in over a year. I haven't seen him touch this game in over a year. He's been sending me like matches and stuff. So there's that. But I don't know what, you know, what he's doing. I don't know it, what role he's maining right now. He was kind of jungling before and then kind of ADCing and now he's playing thought. I don't know. See if he's improved at all. He says he has. He says he's in ELO hell, but we're not doing an ELO hell video. He's just in a rank game. Uh, I don't know what rank he is. That's the thing. I got to check. He told me, but I forgot because I don't listen to him. He is doo -doo 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 -doo, plat 2, 25 and 25, 1854 MMR. So if he... <laughs> He's never hit masters. He plays with inbound, who's a professional player, and or he used to. He would play with inbound or ducky, uh, usually inbound, and he got within one game of masters one season, like two two years ago. One game. He needed to win one game. Inbound would not queue with him that game. He refused to. So inbound basically carried him to diamond one, one game away from masters, and then he never queued with him again. Wraith never hit masters. He fell all the way back down like diamond three. So at one point he thought he should be masters, but he's never hit masters and definitely not on his own. So we'll see where he's at these days. Yeah, he got one game away and I was talking to Bobby when it happened and Bobby's like, I will not play with him. I will not carry him to masters. And he never hit masters. I'm sure I actually think he thinks about that like every day. <laughs> like, like I think that was a life changing video game moment for, for Wraith. What about getting into a queue with VTubers? I'd gladly play with them, but like, I don't, I don't know them. I can't just like re reach out and be like, hey. Actually, one of them is with my management, so I probably could connect with them. Um, but I don't know what they're looking to do, bro. Like, I, I play this game for a living. I play, it at, play video games at a really high level. So it's a lot different than going in and playing with a casual gamer who plays Assault all the time and stuff. Like, it's just not the same. But if anyone ever wants to play or needs help or whatever, I'm 100% down. I'm never against that shit. I just don't actively seek out like clout from bigger streamers and stuff like that. I haven't watched them play Smite at all. I know they're playing it and enjoy it. I've seen clips and stuff, but I haven't watched them actually play the game. I just know they aren't playing Conquest. Smite's in such a weird state in the this mid game stuff because things can be so stale like nothing's happening here. i'm surprised he's hitting his abilities as much as he is i mean he's not clearing he's hitting them poking a lot but he's not clearing his duo lane just got stomped his jungle's been here for too long both jungles have been mid for way too long like the mid games are gone and they aren't leaving all right wraith i see you oh they're playing conquest now yeah i'd love to play conquest with them I've seen their clips. They are pretty funny. I don't have problems with those VTubers at all. I just, a bunch of Smite VTubers have uh, tried to ego me weirdly and just talk shit about me randomly out of nowhere. Some of the VTubers are actually pretty cool. It's just some of them aren't in Smite. Outside of Smite, like I said, I don't watch them, so I don't know them personally. Schwa is not a goaded VTuber. She's the one who shit talks randomly out of nowhere and magically lost 900 viewers when Twitch took down all the viewbotting websites. Not saying she was viewbotting, just saying 900 viewers disappeared and have never come back. My theory, well, I don't have enough information to be like dead serious about it, but my theory is that DM Brandon streams Smite as a VTuber. And I thought the timeline, if you look, I, the that schwa person could be DM Brandon. 
DM Brandon disappeared June 2020 and Schwa stream and everything started June 2021. I'm just saying. Anything could happen, man. Anything could happen. Timeline aligns. Maybe nothing else does. That's my biggest conspiracy. I mean, even before, like, like outside of trolling it being that person, I've said it wouldn't surprise me if DM Brandon started streaming as a VTuber. Because what else does he do? His whole life and all his relationships were based around content. And he's done, like, you search his name and he told somebody who was like thank you i didn't kill myself because your stream to, to basically kill themselves and then he had all the sexual harassment and shit and grooming shit come out and he disappeared so he, he can't have a normal job if i were him and that happened to me i would have started vtubing i'd use a voice changer i would have kept playing smite under a completely different you know everything i would have been a vtuber If you're sitting in my stream and being like Schwa is Gucci and cool, you're a piece of shit. Stop. She's a, she's a, I never knew who she was until she randomly started shit talking me. Then I called her off for view botting. She said I view botted. My viewership's gone up. Hers disappeared completely. 90% of her viewership is gone for the last year and a half. Um, so she was view botting in my eyes. And then on top of that, she was ratings appearances of streamers. I'm sorry, SPL players when she's afraid to show herself on the internet. So that makes no sense. It's she, literally a terrible person over and over and over again. So if you like that type of person, my stream is not the place for you. Cause like, I'll be a dick on a video game. You suck ass at smite and all this other stuff. As soon as you start talking about real life things randomly, it, that's a problem. You have a, you have a lot of insecurities and a lot of issues with your lack of success. She also said something about my, like, uh, Weekend has an ugly face. That was the most recent thing. I, I haven't even talked about her in forever. Don't even, I don't know what she's done. I don't watch her stream. I know nothing about her. Clearly, these people watch me. She's talking about my face the other day. Bro, you don't show your face on the internet. Shut the fuck up. And don't tell me you V2 for some other reason. You don't want to be seen, which is fine. But you can't talk about other people's appearances when you don't want to be seen. That's fucking weird. Yeah, of course. I saw that, dude. I had like a thousand ads and a thousand private messages of the DM Brandon video that morning. I woke up at like 11 and my phone was just exploded with DM Brandon shit. I didn't think it was real. Literally sounds like DM. That's what I said. All the, and then on top of that, my theory, my, it's a bullshit theory. I don't really think it's DM, but it, it could be, you know, some strange world. She used to sit there and watch DM Brandon's videos on stream, which I thought was so fucking weird. Yo, Coop, thank you for the sub. Like, I get watching like the, the rage clips and stuff and like bullshit like that, or like the my roast or, you know, anything shit talking him, but she was watching just regular gameplay of it. Which I always thought, I thought that was the weirdest fucking thing ever. The argument too was, you know, you did it too. You made a roast. I made a roast when everyone loved DM Brandon. When he he was getting 2K viewers and getting jerked off daily. I made that video as one of the first people actually stepping out and being like, this dude's a piece of shit. Look at this. Here's why. The only person that was doing it was Frost. And Frost was doing it because DM Brandon kicked him out of his circle and kicked him out of his custom game. I was doing it because I was sick of the bullshit that he kept doing to everybody. We're watching Wraith try to play the game. This is why, this, this is why people get stuck in plat and stuff. You gotta do more than just sit in your lane the whole game doing the bare minimum. You gotta create some, some something, some action. Wraith does move like he's on console. Bro, Wraith plays like this, dude. Um, fuck. So, I don't know. I want to make sure he's not getting a kill or anything here. I don't think... Oh, ways. Okay. Good means reaction. He's not going to ult the full health. Okay, we got to get away from that. Um, 
So, pretend my desk comes out to, to like here, like to my gut. He plays like this. He plays this far away from his monitor. He he he's like this while he's sitting there. Like if, if this is his mouse, like this is his mouse. He's like like this far away. Like he can move like this. Like this is him trying to do a circle. He's like I sit like a like a. This is why I always say old people sit really far away from their monitors and they suck at video games because of it. They can't react as fast. He's like my case in point. I'm like less than a, I'm a foot max away from my monitor right now with my arms like like i'm up close he's like that while he's playing the game and i'm not joking there's pictures he's got he used to stream and show it he sits so far away like i'm six five he's like five eight and for me i'm like like that while i'm sitting at his setup it felt like ass used to watch him but never noticed yeah it was the first thing that I noticed when I went to his house. I was like, bro, how the fuck do you play like this? Who is this? this is Raythan. Love the farming simulator. <laughs> this is people who don't understand mid right now. If you go and actually want to get better, go watch a professional, one of the professionals who streams, Ven, uh, what, Big Man Tings. Who else? There's a couple of them. Go watch them play mid and look at how much they rotate. They play like junglers because of how much damage they do. And just try to do that a couple times to get used to it. Pagon. Yeah, watch Pagon, man. He don't don't be Pagon. You Pagon is someone you can learn from, but do not mimic. He's mechanically and you know, just understand the game better than you'll ever be, and you can't play like him. He fights too much. He'll W key jump on top of you, be 10% health, and then jump into your red buff. Like he doesn't give a shit. That was a good that was a good job from Wraith. Sitting back and, and getting his cast off the way he needed to. Better ult than the last one. Is Mast a good YouTuber? He gets lots of views. People like him. That's what determines whether you're a good YouTuber is just your your numbers. He's not a professional player. Nowhere near. He's not a minor league player. He's not a competitive player. He's, he's a content creator. I put double J actually I don't, I don't I haven't seen either him or double J play this year so it's not fair but one of them might be a little bit better double J might be a little bit better than him I don't know but they're in like a similar category for me where they're good players but they're not they're not uh like elite they're better than 99.5 percent of players where the elite are better than 99.9 .9 percent of players I know Mast queues West Coast servers and the worst players play on West Coast. There is no, not a singular good player that queues West Coast. So it's automatically just bad players. Yeah, but he's 2800 West Coast. That's not the same. 2800 West Coast is like 2K MMR. West Coast is console, basically. It's like old console. All right, race positioning there was so sketchy because he didn't even pay attention to the dude standing on his right. Ray, stop firing your ult for no reason. Your abilities are back up. Thank you. No, just a one. Wraith, you're one. Just one. You literally kill anybody there if you're just wanting, Wraith. He, he, once he uses his 2-1 one, one time, he won't use him again until he ults. He's got to ult after using his abilities once. Bro, I, I know me saying that. Dude, Weekend's an elitist. No, anyone with a brain knows the West Coast players are ass. Even before the merges and everything, good players played East Coast because that's you're never going to go pro or do anything competitive from the West Coast servers. You have to queue on East Coast servers. Nobody good is over there, bro. There was an 1800 MMR Masters player on West Coast. Pro think about that. I could put a controller in between my butt cheeks and hit 1800 MMR on West Coast. I could sit on a controller and just wiggle around and hit fucking 1800 MMR. Yes, West Coast is free MMR, 1,000%. I think MMR should be based on where you queue and reset when you queue on different like regions. Um, and I think people need to recognize how shit West Coast is. I pay to see that. I, I think every game should region lock. <clears throat> I've always thought that. No matter how big or small they are, like 
region locking or if you're not going to region lock you have to reset mmr based on uh region like the region you're playing in smite probably can't region lock because nobody plays anywhere else other than east and east West Coast is just West Coast. <laughs> like, literally, like, fucking California and shit are the only ones playing West Coast. Unless you're trying to farm shitters. I'm not playing West Coast 100 in ping. So, I have some of the lowest ping there is in Smite. Like, I don't know if you'll find a person with lower ping than me in Smite. I don't think it's possible. Um, unless there's somebody else that, you know, masked the old pro jungler. He used to live right next to me, so he would have similar ping. Um, but I think he had different internet, so I don't even know if he had as low as ping. I can't go up to 100 ping. I play, I play 20, like 25 ping. So 100 is 4x what I'm used to. And I can fucking feel, I feel, I feel 60 ping. Later. Okay, Wraith is definitely better than he was i have to give him this he's absolutely playing better than he was but he still has so much room for improvement man so the damage yeah. he stopped damage and he's not playing you know there's like i said just so much room for improvement he should have dashed the wall right there and just poked at that sylvanas the fact that he's not poking at this guy is pissing me off it's a solo sylvanas that still was level 14 though You be in a number one god conquest video? Are you number one on the a god leaderboard? <clears throat> Is east just North America? I don't see east. Yeah, it's just North America. It doesn't say east. There's west and North America. Like those are the two regions. Ray turns his back to people way too much. Okay, he did not need to guess that, but okay, Ray, you gotta you gotta lead a little bit here, buddy. <clears throat> this isn't. Point and click and it goes right at him. I'm sitting here thinking the first time Wraith goes aggressive and he's finally gonna make a play. He misses everything and it's 1-1 and gets a kill. And if I'm there with him right now, he thinks he made a play. Like he'll if I was with him at his house, he'd be like, Yeah, I think I played that pretty good. And he'll be dead serious. And then if I'm like, bro, you could have done this and this, he's like, Yeah, but you know, I hit that. I, I you know I did pretty good. Later. We're watching Wraith because I didn't have time to do a full game and I'm I'm getting tired of talking to be honest, and I just wanted the roast Wraith. And see how good he is now because he swears he's better. Why is someone in my rank match claiming he beat you and Incon and Lazbra and lost a 1v1 PM to Chiron as MSL? Wait, he's just saying random shit? <laughs> That's fucking weird. If if you brag about winning a ranked game against somebody, it's weird. It's very weird. We're playing a team game. Sadly, Smite's been in a place for a very long time where one person isn't gonna 100% win the game. You have to have people doing the bare minimum while you're hard carrying or you'll still lose. That was a born to duel. Thank you, man. Appreciate you in the four months. We got a lot of subs tonight, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we did. Holy fuck. I'm gonna set up some uh, sub goal giveaways for you guys once I get all this stuff shipped out that I owe people. During picks and bans, the first thing he said. Okay, that's weird. I had someone the other day who was saying they were me, and someone tweeted me, it was like, bro, this is you. And it was like the guy's name was like Butt Cheeks McGee 43 XD Xbox. Bruh. Race <laughs> Wraith doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Wraith! You gotta do something when they're on top of you, bro. Cast some abilities. Bro, just ran in a straight line while getting his cheeks clapped by the autos. He could have won. He could have ulted. He could have done anything. If he won and ulted that soul laner, the soul laner would be dead right now. And this team would have a chance in this team fight. Man. 
mean, rank game is the new elo hell. I mean, you have to. When I look at your account, if it doesn't look like you're stuck, I'm not gonna let you do elo hell. If you have 10 games played, you're like, I'm in elo hell. No, you have played 10 games. Realistically, if I was being serious and putting an amount on it, I'd want you to play 100 games. If you haven't played 100 games, you're not in, you're not stuck in your rank. There's no way you're stuck in your rank. I streaming tomorrow? Yep. Yes, sir. I gotta watch back. Saw back the wraith. I forgot. My bad. Silver one, ELO two hundred games. See, like two hundred games. It's funny though, cause at that rank, I'm like, you're pro. Like, I'm thinking, there's no way. Like, you played this many games and you're still there. You're probably not. But that's the amount of games you need to play to put yourself in the division. You probably should be in. Don't you afraid maybe someone will share account for ELO Hell? Uh, it'd be pretty stupid because if I think like you're doing that and I tell high res like this person's account sharing and they look into it and they see you log in from a different IP, you're going to get your account banned. This is against TOS. So you could do it, but you could also lose your account doing it. Why is account sharing TOS? Because it literally says you cannot account share in the TOS. Most games do not allow account sharing. World of Warcraft, you, you weren't able to do that. You could in World of Warcraft, you couldn't even account share with your family, with like your son or your brother. What's the reasoning? Um, I don't know. I guess because someone else can play on your account and boost your MMR for ranked, boost your stats, put you in a better spot than you should be. Um, you could sell it. Like if I was allowed to account share, I you could pay me 500 bucks and I'll go get your masters. Um, accounts, more accounts get stolen that way. If your shit's being shared around, they, you don't have to buy skins. If you guys share an account, you guys just buy skins on one account. So you're basically stealing money. No, this is plat 1850 MMR, bro. He's 25 and 25 right now. This is a rank game he's into. This isn't, I didn't set this game up. He just wanted me to spec him and I was about to get off. That was a good all. I wish I could see damage numbers. There's no way to turn damage numbers on, right? Like you guys ever find that, tell me, because I don't know how to fucking do it if you can. He's getting absolutely railed by the soul winner. What's up, Erickson? Thank you, brother. Glad you came over here, dude. Is win trading a thing in a smite high elo? Not conquest. In duel, yes. In conquest, no. If you do that shit in conquest, you get reported by one of the 50 fucking pros that are in every high level game and you're going to get permanent. The, just, you know how I can message somebody um, if someone's cheating or someone's, you know, harassing me or something and they'll look at the account and potentially get banned? The pros and the content creators can do the same fucking thing. The pros can go right away to somebody um, the same way I can. Same exact thing. Like any pro. So you can't be doing that shit in their games either. <laughs> Gibson, that would be really helpful if everyone was in my Discord. But there, I know everyone's on the Discord. I have like... Like most streams now, I'm getting like 20k to 25, actually 20 to 30k people are coming in the stream to do, especially ELO Hell tonight. Like I'll probably have 25,000 people join the stream tonight. I think my Discord has like 8k people in it or something. And there's usually only like 1800 people online at any given moment. So we'd have to get everyone to start joining Discord to do that. Later Ace, have fun man. 25k unique people view the stream in one night. Yes. Even when Smite was ass, I was getting 10 to 13 uh, thousand people. And I'm only streaming for f like average four and a half to five hours. We'll say average five hours. So if I stream for 10 hours, we'll get close to 50k people. Yeah, people never understood that. And like, that's one thing with, with, uh, with sponsors and stuff. They have to take that into account. If I'm promoting your stream to 1,800 people all night, it's actually 2,500 different people. Or 25,000, sorry. 25,000 different people that see that promotion. And sponsors do not pay based on that. They do not like to pay based on that. 
Wraith. Dude, I don't even want to watch Wraith at this point. He's doing the bare minimum, man. If you're not supposed to be in this rank, you should be making plays, not doing the bare fucking minimum. If you do the bare minimum, if you're having an okay game, an average game, which, you know, let's see. I, he, his play when they go on him is ass. He's top damage, so he is better than his teammates potentially here, but he's not carrying. He's not making plays. What's the logic behind 25k? There's no logic. There's, I can see how many people join my stream. Fuck you mean logic. 25,000 people join my stream. Oh, nice. Just like on YouTube, it's like 200,000 people view my YouTube in a month. It's not like even though every video is getting 30, 20, 30k views, some of them 70, 80k. Like there's at minimum 200,000 unique people watching my shit. It's been that way forever. Yo, Ray's getting aggro. He's making plays, but he's not really. Wait. Okay. He couldn't see. He was free balling there, but uh, he was off. Oh wait, you can turn on damage? There. Go to go to setting under spectator, you can turn all that. What? Bye -bye. My life just changed. My YouTube content just got better. My stream just got better. My life just got better. You don't understand. Now I don't have to like rewind when people miss shit and be like, did they miss shit? Fuck you, Cyclone. I was in spectator elo hell, dude. What the fuck? I didn't even know it though. Wraith doesn't dash walls and it, it has actually triggers the fuck out of me. <laughs> he can't hit a fucking dash if he dashes at somebody. Uh, I gotta tell him to take his time on his two to fucking dash walls. What? Dash into the wall race in, in place, bitch. Does he not know? He doesn't know. He. I'm gonna ask him. What can I ask him to make sure he answers it like truthfully? Bye -bye. Later. He definitely doesn't know how to dash the wall in place. <laughs> ask if he knows how to play Thoth. Yeah, he'll be like, yeah, dude, of course. Bro, you can thought dash into a wall in place and not move. So you could just dash in place and then throw your shit over the wall and people can't get to you. Like that Awelix, he dashed in the melee range of the Awelix. He should have just dashed the fucking wall. He's using his three. Not using it when he's all the time, but he is. Wait, Wraith gets to keep his Olympian title when he's not an Olympian anymore? Isn't that false advertising? He's not hitting very hard. Did he? Wait, was that not through the wall? Is that why? Oh, it's because he's Gemma focused Kronos pendant build. His build is butt cheeks. Earth off, in my opinion. If you're gonna commit to Chrono Spend it, you better commit to 40% CDR early, and that's just overkill on this guy. Oh, he almost hit something! He 
What do you think about I'm Corpse? Is he a pro or ex-pro? Who the fuck is I'm Corpse? He's nobody. I never heard of him and I played professionally my whole life. Wraith is carrying? Bro, he's free casting and then whenever he wants someone goes on him, he dies instantly. He's I'll give you carrying this match, but he's not hard carrying. This is the softest carry I've ever seen. This is like marshmallow soft fucking carry. This is a marshmallow carry. He's always high on ranked leaderboards. Okay, well, ranked leaderboards mean nothing at all. Literally zero. Um, some of the worst players I've ever seen are Grandmasters in Smite, because that's how it works. Uh, still don't know who the fuck that is. And if you're talking about Duel or Joust, those game modes don't matter. They're the most casual game modes ever with nobody good playing them. Uh, no offense. Nobody, sorry, nobody good is mean. There are some good people who play Joust. There are, for every 100 high-level Joust players, there's five good players. Um, or sorry, Duel. Joust is a bunch of fucking shitters. Um, if you're comparing pro to ranked, your understanding of what it takes to be professional at something is severely off. What is it for you to be pro? What do you mean, what is it? You play on a professional team. You get paid to play the game. And I don't mean paid to stream the game. I mean, you get paid to go compete against other players who are also getting paid. Yeah, Wraith is struggling to actually carry this game and the game is be, like handed to him. He should be, he should have, how much does he have? 30K? Less than 30K? 30K. He should have 60 or 70K. Easily. His, la his mechanical decision making is atrocious. And I don't mean his missing abilities. I just mean him when, he, when and where and how he's using abilities is disgusting. Yeah, you heard it here first, Wraith. Someone is ranked in top 10 every split and season. Do they get a good chance to turn pro? That doesn't make you good enough to go pro. That's not how it works. You're skipping the steps. You want to play professionally in any game? Grind the rank scene and spam play the rank scene so you make a name for yourself. After you've made a name for yourself and you've met people and started talking to them, you form a team to play at the lowest level of competitive play. If you're winning at the lowest level of competitive play or playing really well, you'll make another name for yourself. And then you either join a minor league team or, you know, the next level or that team you're on wins and moves up. Um, and then you make another name for yourself and you potentially get picked up by a pro player team or your team wins at the minor league and moves up to pro. Bye -bye. There is direct path. Wraith just beats! <laughs> what? What are you doing, Wraith? Your abilities. They don't land. Your, your actives, they're so off. There is literally a direct path in Smite to go pro and everyone's like hey weekend how do i go pro the high res has it laid out for you to go fucking pro more than any game i've ever seen in my life Later. and here's a quick tip for you if you play any ranked or whatever you know like the online competitive i don't mean like the pro scene in the minor league i mean like the in-game competitive and you go around saying you could go pro no if you aren't pro and haven't done it you can't you can't do it you're not even in the same area code if you could you would
time is it? 12.30 a.m. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is what you're hyping up? Hold the fucking phone. Where's your wall? Bro, you sat there for 10 seconds, not killing anybody or even putting your wall down, bro. So we're delayed three minutes. Wraith is in the chat right now. Wraith, do you know how Thoth wall or sorry, dash works? Like, you know, you can dash into a wall in place, right? Like you don't have to slide around the wall or slide. You can dash straight line into a wall and you'll just stop right there. You know that, right? Cause you haven't done it one time in 35 minutes. You may dash into melee range on a wheelies one time. Yeah, a lot of supports are going Chronos Pendant because you can go two to three damage items on support and still have cap defense. You da don't dash walls. That has nothing to do with, with Geb playing Chronos Pendant. You should have 70,000 damage in this game because you're, you're, you're soft carrying. I decided you're... Wraith, kill the Bastions! You just lost 150 gold. Anyway, you're marshmallow carrying here. You're not hard carrying. You're marshmallow carrying. You're as soft as it fucking gets, all right? You should be dumbstering these kids. What are the leagues called below SPL? The SOC is anyone can sign up and play. It's like Saturday mornings. The SCC is the minor league, which you have to earn your spot um, or be invited. And then the SPL is another one you have to uh, be invited or earn your spot as an SCC team. Olympian is false advertisement. Mickey Mouse carry. This isn't even a Mickey carry, bro. Teams are random in SOC. What do you mean random? You can sign up. Like, yeah, like you sign up a team. When I say sign up, I don't mean individually. You sign up five people, sign up and make a team. Anyone can sign up for the weekend tournament. If you play in the weekend tournament and aren't like top two to three consistently, you're kind of just there. Like, Hopefully you're improving and you're practicing, which is dope, which a lot of people should be. But yeah, you, you can't say I play, you know, this and have it as a bragging point. If you aren't top two to three, it's kind of cringe. That's like in Apex. Um, anybody can sign up for the lower tiers of the uh, what's it called in that, that league or what's their league called in Apex? This guy's bopping off shit. What are the Apex League is? Anybody can sign up for the lower tiers and it's the same name. They'll be like, yeah, I played in this. And it's like, bro, you played in tier 18 with 3,000 teams. Like, you didn't actually play. ALGS, thank you. Yeah. You didn't actually play against anybody good. You just signed up and showed up. That's what the SOC is. You can, 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 you can play Kikulkin, but if you're not hitting every... Like, if you don't hit 75% of your ults, don't play Kikulkin. And if you aren't highly accurate with your one into poly combos, don't play your cold. But if you're good, but the people you could find to play with, you won't showcase your talent. Yes, you would. 100%. There's, there's like fucking 100 people that have played in the SPL at some point that were all the best player on their shit team. That is an L fucking take. Your understanding of this is crazy. That's like, bro. <laughs> okay, in professional sports, how do the how do the people get to professionals? How do you get to be professional? You play on a team of people that you're probably better than. You get picked up, they don't. 
because you showcase your skills by being better. It's very clear to good players when somebody's good. It's super fucking clear. Why do you think when I do these ELO L's and shit, I'm like, this person isn't good enough. And there's like 20 people in my chat like, they're great. What do you mean? They have a 10.0 KD. They're fucking beast. I'm like, no, they're dog shit. And then they show how dog shit they are for 20 minutes. Because if you're good and understand, you can see what someone who isn't good can't see. Bro, not gonna lie. I'm kind, I am kind of sad that like towards the end of my SPL career when we were getting dicked on was some of the best I played and people are like, oh, I played terrible. I actually played pretty good in my last two years. I put a lot of fucking time into watching gameplay, which was why. And I was playing selfish those years instead of playing like, I was playing like a real jungler instead of playing like an initiator jungler, which is why I looked better and felt like I was playing better. But being on teams that were just not, not clicking was sad. It was a bad time. Your is under attack. I retired. I didn't want to play anymore. I didn't want to play for two years. The last two years I played, I I really didn't want to play. Um, I was more worried it would hurt my stream. I was worried I'd, I'd retire and I'd lose viewership. I wasn't confident in my content because I had never, like I was a content creator, but it was super soft content creating. Uh, when I retired, I like I started recording YouTube videos every day. Fucking stream schedule became very consistent, and I streamed a lot. Uh, yeah. I don't know what Ray's doing, bro. He's trying to solo end the game. I think Ray's is lost in the sauce, boys. Ray's is old, all right. He's old. He's a grandpa. Not literally, but he might as well be. Wraith, you should be absolutely popping everyone in this game. I will say, I've gone back and watched the earlier games of SPL, like when I played with Cyclone. Bro, we sucked ass uh, other than Cyclone. Like, no Cyclone, we're pooping. But the thing was, I still, I was still like the third best jungler, but at least even then, and I was terrible. Everyone was terrible. I was watching, if you guys didn't know, PBM and Aurora do a podcast. Um, I was watching, they did one with Cyclone the other day. And even PBM talks about like, he goes back and wa watches old shit and he's like, holy fuck, I was bad. Like it, it's crazy how much better everybody is now compared to then, even though everyone was pro then. You didn't make shit, Cyclone. you mean i put you on the map i camped your lane i made you let's go do the math i ganked your lane 4322 times now imagine i never ganked your lane imagine i didn't know what the soul lane was we'll never know any jungler could have done it but but any jungler didn't do it i did so you're welcome. I made you. Anytime, pal. I won't do it again, though. I mean, I wasn't going to camp allies, Lane. Ally would die before I even fucking cleared my first buff and be like, yeah, I'll see you guys at 35 minutes. All right, guys. Talk to you in 25 minutes. I talked about this the other day, bro. I'll never forget, like, very consistently over the four years or three years I played with Allied, this motherfucker would say, let's fight, like, group, 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 attack, 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 while he's leaving the base. Like, he's a good 15 seconds away from the team fight, and he would tell you to go in, and he would say, I'm almost there. I can't tell you how many VODs we would review, and he literally would be in the base buying an item. And then in the VOD review, he'd start laughing, like, yeah. How long is this match? I don't know. This is what happens when you don't hard carry and you soft carry. How 
How did it? How did that Oelix not go even a touch Wraith? Wraith got shielded and the dude didn't do a single drop of damage. Pros get salaries. They don't make very much from winning, to be honest. There isn't a lot of money in Smite tournaments anymore. This year one SPL and year two SPL were, uh, it was like 2.1 million the first year for a total prize pool and then 1 million the second year. And then it just fell off after that. High res did some sketchy, like more, in my opinion, morally incorrect marketing for their SPL many years. One year we were playing in the SPL in, in Worlds and it said the prize pool was $1 million. But the prize pool included all previous lands throughout the year in that 1 million. And it included the Xbox lands, all of their total lands. Um, and it included like a fucking EU land or something. Uh, so it was actually like a $500,000 prize pool for Worlds, but they were marketing as a million because they had spent a million for the year. I mean, we got salaries back then too. We pretty much always had a salary. All the teams didn't, but our team always did. Everyone in the SPL gets the same salary. I think it's uh, with the housing stipend they get, it's like 45K a year in total before taxes. So like 30 something, I'd say like 35K after taxes, somewhere in there. That game was harder than it should have been because Wraith doesn't fucking know how to use his abilities. I don't mean land them. I mean, know how to use his abilities. Wraith should have had 100k damage that game. Bro, one time the solo laner went on Wraith after he had dashed and Wraith just walked in a straight line. He didn't fucking use his one. He didn't ult the guy. He didn't do any damage. He just walked in a line and died. Didn't even auto. Why would you say the prize pool is so low now? Uh, we, we don't know. They used to do crowdfunding through Smite. They'd sell skins and like a dollar from every skin would go towards the SBL world's prize pool. They stopped doing it and they never said why. Everybody asked for years and then we just gave up. Mm -hmm. Cyclone got paid more than me though. Uh, no. We all got paid the same on AFK and NV. I, I, or I negotiated salaries. Um, AFK and NV, we all got paid the same. There was a point in time where I, I felt like everyone should get paid the same. Like we were all, Cyclone was the best, but a lot of us were doing content. A lot of us had like big names and we were all kind of the same through a lot of those teams. Um, but then when it changed to like ALG and everything, I was the highest salary on all my teams up until uh, my last year, I think. Elo Hell's done. I'm done. That's it's almost 1 a.m. Why was Cyclone so good? He's just mechanically better than everybody. By a mile back then. It wasn't even fucking close. I'm not even going to bed. I'm gonna go grab something to eat and play some fucking TFT. I'm keeping my schedule fucked up so I can play Diablo all night. Wraith, I if you watch it back, you've definitely gotten better. But bro, there's still so much room for improvement. TFT play solo queue. I do solo queue. What do you mean? I literally sit here and watch like fucking a movie or something and play and eat. I'm not going to stream TFT. Nah, I'm going to stream Diablo. Uh, TFT is like my wind down game. The game is super slow paced. I can watch a movie while I play and shit. Are mo most pros part time? No, this is all they do. Your support playing again, Wraith? Gross. What's TFT? T Fight Tactics? An auto battler from League? Is your stream gonna have Diablo drops? I don't know how that works. To be honest. I don't know if I could sign up, if I can message somebody, or if it's just viewer based. I have no idea. I am not going for first 1000, bro. All those people on the streamer server are gonna hit it in no time. I'm sure, like. You know, there, there's, there's many people that hate it that weren't on the streamer server, but I'm just trying to grind and fucking get the PVP grind. I hate Hearthstone. I fucking hate Hearthstone.
Fuck you, hazardous. Little oh, bitch. Uh, I think I'm going to play Rogue because Mindy's playing Sork. Rogue's playing Druid. Um, I think she's going to end up playing Barbarian, but he won't say it. And I want to play. I just want us all playing something different. So I'm probably going to play Rogue. <sighs> all right, stream. I'm starving. Have a good night. I will see you guys tomorrow for some smoke game. Later, boys and girls.